Hey everybody, Robbie here again. Today we're going to be talking about aircraft maintenance technicians. I have Jared Britt with me who's been working in the aviation industry for over 15 years and we're going to talk a lot about how the return on investment for this uh, career field is better than doctors, lawyers, engineers, and dentists. So let's get into it. So Jared, why don't you talk to us a little bit about the demand for AMTs and how the pandemic uh, has affected that. Yeah, so since the pandemic, um, about 25% of reduction in training capacity right now. A lot of schools were forced to shut down um, and some of them are coming back and some of them aren't. We're expecting about 10% of the schools in the nation to not come back, um, which makes the situation even worse. With the companies now having forced retirements and the larger population of the AMTs being gone and the schools not producing enough, they already weren't producing enough and now it's even worse. So the opportunities coming out of school as an AMT are greater than they've ever been in history. Uh, right now, about, say, the median age for AMTs right now in the industry is 60. And all of the major airlines have forced retirements, um, cutting that gap and making it so much wider than it was before. So is it safe to say then, Jared, that we should see higher salaries um, for these jobs as the demand for AMTs gets greater? So we were seeing higher salaries last year, even before any of this happened. The salaries for the Southwest Airlines technicians took a significant increase at the beginning of this year, um, and we're seeing that across the board throughout the industry. And with the pandemic cutting the current population of AMTs down even further, then uh, companies are going to be hurting even more uh, for technicians and being willing to pay even more to have them. All right, well that's really great that demand's high, but let's talk a little bit about the return on investment right now. Why is the return on investment so good? Well, we're offering 18 months and it's an associate's degree program, which can roll into um, a higher degree as a bachelor's in aviation sciences. In, in 18 months from start to finish, you go from knowing nothing to being equipped and ready to get into the industry. And those jobs are starting out anywhere between forty-five and sixty-five thousand dollars a year throughout the nation and the world. And so, as a technician, you're coming through, and you're only spending a very short amount of time in school, and then you're getting out in the industry and making money quicker. That sounds really great to me. Super fast getting out, making good, really good money right off the right off the bat. What's kind of the high end of the industry? What can somebody expect after they've been working for say ten plus years? Yeah, 10 plus years, um, you're pushing six figures, easy. Um, there are a lot of technicians out there that have been working for companies like Delta um, for the last 10 years, and those guys are making very, very good money. Okay, so obviously uh, money tends to be a very big driving factor, but what are some of the other benefits of being an AMP? Yeah, so being an AMP gives you a lot of freedom. There's many different aspects and different uh, parts of aviation that you can choose to go into. You can specialize in things like helicopters, commercial aviation, general aviation, um, fire, uh, EMS, uh, international, military. There are so many different avenues in which you can choose to go um, and you can work in a small town or you can work in a metropolis or you can work overseas. Uh, it just depends on what you want to do and the opportunities are limitless once you have that license. All right, so Jared, how about you talk to us a little bit about how difficult it is to both go through school to become an AMT and what it's like once you're actually out in the career field. Yeah, so our school has basically taken a 24-month program and put it into 18 months. So we go to school through summer. And it is a very rigorous program. Uh, as long as you're willing to put in the time and the effort and the work and study, uh, you will be successful here. And you'll end up with your license out in the industry with a job uh, within a year and a half which there's not a lot of other programs out there that can say that and that can do that with the amount of return on investment that you get for your time. Awesome. Jared, would you recommend this to your friends and family? Oh, absolutely. Uh, being an AMT is very rewarding. You can go anywhere in the world you want. You can pick whatever job you want. And at the end of the day, uh, that license that you get makes you responsible for the work that you do, legally responsible for that work. So as you finish your job and you see that aircraft or helicopter or whatever fly away, you know that you did your job good, you did it right, and it's safe. And there's a, a lot of um, reward in that at the end of the day. 
If you guys wanna see another really great video about what it's like to be an AMT, just click below, it'll take you right to that video, and it actually features one of our very own aircraft maintenance technicians, Amanda Krager. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like, and if you really wanna see some other videos uh, more like this about the aviation industry as a whole, click subscribe. Really appreciate you being here again, and we'll see you next time.